Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast on CW4 with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. Well, some of us saw plenty of storm activity today. Some of us stayed rather dry. One of the spots that saw some storms was there in Octibaha County. You see this dark area of the clouds in Starkville. This sent into us on Twitter. One of those shelf clouds on the leading edge of the storm. And a similar site in Brooksville. Some pretty scary looking clouds sent into us from Sarah on Facebook. You see that shelf cloud there, just indicative of the leading edge of those storms and really dumping some pretty heavy rain, even some small hail across the area. Remember, if you see any interesting weather happening, we'd love to share it with the folks at home. Easiest way to do that is via our mobile app for Apple and Android. You can submit photos there. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And, of course, our email address, weather at WCBI.com. Looking ahead to the upcoming five days or so, unfortunately, those rain and storm chances are going to continue. And we're going to be watching for the chance for some strong storms and spots. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Otherwise, we are going to stay warm and humid as summer has officially begun. And hopefully, as of right now, fingers crossed, it's looking like that next weekend is trending on the drier side. Take a look at the time lapse from Columbus. You saw that one quick downpour there. Back to blue sky and then the clouds build in once again. So that's kind of what the trend was as we get into these summer months. You get a quick downpour and then you get some more sunshine. Those downpours really helped to cool us down in some spots and we needed it today with highs getting into the low and mid 90s. Here's your rainfall totals for today. Most folks up to the north along I-22 not getting a whole lot, just about uh, uh, less than a quarter of an inch for a lot of us. The heaviest rain fell down in Winston and Atala counties. They've got a flash flood warning going on down there. Uh, there we picked up upwards of three to four inches of rain in some spots. Here locally though, just over an inch and a quarter in Louisville and close to a half an inch of rain here in Columbus. Right now, the heaviest rain moving off to the south. We've just got some lighter showers continuing to filter on in here, but I think in the next couple of hours, most of the rain will be done. We're going to leave in the chance of an isolated shower or two. Otherwise, mostly cloudy and mild. Temperatures only getting down to right around 70 for the low. And tomorrow, kicking off the week on Monday, really going to be the same thing as we saw today. Starting off dry for the most part, showers and storms developing through the afternoon. Not everybody going to see rain tomorrow, but we're going to call it about a 50% chance of some showers and storms through the day. We'll top out around 90 for the high before we cool off through the afternoon. All of that courtesy of this cold front back off to the north and the west. That's getting a little bit closer to us. You see by Monday afternoon, there's those chances for showers and storms. And then we're going to do it all over again on Tuesday. That cold front gets closer and closer to us. The storms kind of die out Monday night and then redevelop here as we go through the day on Tuesday. And with that cold front approaching, some of the storms through the day on Tuesday could be a little bit more on the stronger side. We've got a level one risk for severe weather. Not anything major. We're not too concerned about this. We're going to be looking for the potential for some gusty winds, hail, and maybe some flash flooding tomorrow and Tuesday. Tornado threat, I could basically say don't worry about it. Don't get your anxiety up about this one. Very low threat of a tornado. Here's your AccuWeather 7-day forecast. Again, basically rain and storms possible for the next several days. Again, next weekend looking on the dry side. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, close to 90 by next weekend.